Good early, grand, early rising <laughs> YouTube community. It is quarter to four in the morning, I believe. Let's double check that. 345, Thursday, October the 24th. I hate it when I feel the need to explain myself, but I am going to explain myself on this one. Because I've been sitting here for the last hour thinking about it. Here we go. So many people find the word retarded offensive, and I use it all the time. Now, let me fur, and my son understands this. When I say the word retarded, I am never referring to anybody with a disability. I tell my son when I say are you retarded? When I think of the word retarded, and I'm going to tell you why, and then you're going to think of it differently. When I ask, so I'm like, are you retarded? Or that was so retarded. To me, that's when people choose to act stupid. And if I had Down syndrome or that type of disability, I would be offended at the fact that people... Um, related my disability to the word retarded because people with Down syndrome and disabilities, they're very intelligent. There's absolutely nothing stupid about them. That's why I say the word retarded all the time, guilt-free, because I am never, ever, ever associating that word with anybody with any sort of disabilities or handicaps. It's all about intention. Now, there's a little backstory to this. Before I tell the backstory, I'll have you all know I take public transit. And where I live, we have a place called the Robin Hood Society. And twice a week, they go to the gym and they go swimming and like as a group. You could ask any bus driver that I know them by name. Their energy is infectious. I love it when I'm on the bus and it's filled with people from the Robin Hood Society. Mm -hmm. I love their energy. I talk to them. I understand them. You know, and another thing, like, I find they're... It's like a Helen Keller thing. They're geniuses. They just have different ways of communicating. So for me to be able to call people that have Down syndrome or handicaps retarded, that's saying they're stupid in my world. And I have never met someone with Down syndrome or that was handicapped that was stupid. Not once in my life. Nope. Now, the backstory. Mm -hmm. I, grew, I grew up and still live in such an egotistical, narcissistic town run by people who think they're all that and a cup of tea. Well, my elementary school mm -hmm, had a program called the WIN program. So our school was shared with people that had Down syndrome. So we would have assemblies, you know, we shared the school with people that had Down syndrome and severely handicapped. You want to hear, you want to hear what it was like growing up in my little white town? At least now it's multicultural, but I'll tell you what, growing up in this town is white as could be. Now, when you got in trouble, do you know what the punishment was in my elementary? All right. In my elementary, I got in trouble one time. I don't even know what I did. But the punishment was punishment. <clears throat> it's disgusting. That I had to be friends with a girl from the wind program. 
And that included spending every lunch hour with her, spending every recess with her, walking to school with her, and home with her. Her name was Cindy. And I had to do that for five days straight. So punishment at my little pristine school, punishment was having to be friends with someone that had disabilities. It was punishment. Right? Well, <clears throat> I didn't look at it that way. I just thought, okay, I'll hang out with this girl. Her name was Cindy. She had big blue eyes and blonde hair, and she was super cool. Now, she lived, like, across the street from where I lived, so I don't know how they lined us up, but it worked really well. So what I had to do was walk with her to school. Every recess and lunch hour I spent with her for five days straight, walked home with her, and then I would call her in the evening and ask her what she had for dinner and talk to her. Well, after those five days, it became a routine to hang out with Cindy after school. And we'd go to the park and swing on the swings. And when I would go home, I would call her every night and ask her what she had for dinner and da da da. That went on to the end of the school year. And then I switched schools. That's, I knew I had to switch schools. When that happened, I never, I, I, th I thought everybody at my school was evil. I thought the teachers were evil. I thought the principal was evil. And I made my mom take me out of that school. It was in grade four. And that was the reason why. I was taken out of that school because I all I saw was demons around me. If that's how they thought of people with disabilities. Mm -hmm. I would see them grab them be so mean to them, like teachers and stuff. And it always broke my heart. So, when as a detention, it was to hang out with Cindy, I never looked at it like a detention. I looked at it like, okay, I finally get some my turn to show this girl some love. Now, I still remember one day on the, on the swings, she brought up the word retarded. And she goes, and I'm not doing an impression. But I understood exactly what she said. And she goes, I'm not retarded. And I said, well, I know you're not. She goes, I have Down syndrome. Retarded means you're stupid. And I'm very smart. And so she goes, I don't care if you say the word retarded. Because I caught myself a couple of times saying, that's why she brought it up. Because I caught myself a couple of times saying retarded. Not, are you retarded? I would just be like, that's retarded. And I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. And then she placed me. She's like, what are you sorry for? I'm not retarded. Retarded means you're stupid. And I'm very smart. So, because people love to tear me apart and tear apart my character, defame me every chance they get, I'm sure... You guys are defaming the fact that I say the word retarded. Well, I like to have you know that I say it guilt-free. So judge me all you want. I really don't care. I, I don't care if you haven't noticed. And I think about Cindy all the time. I don't even know if Cindy's alive anymore, but I'll tell you what. I send her a whole lot of love and light. She's my Cindy. And I'll always feel an energetic cord to Cindy. Cindy has Down syndrome. She's not retarded. Anyway, I just had to say my little piece. Because I was sitting here going, oh, I didn't explain myself on that one. Why? Because I can't even, I can't do anything right or anything without you trolls dissecting everything I do. So I knew it was just a matter of time before someone's like, she's not a good person. She says the word retarded. She's judgmental. She discriminates. No, I don't. You guys have way too much time in your hands if you're that focused on every little thing I say. 
But I say the word retarded guilt-free so you can get over it. Bye.